And today I'm going to be digging a little bit further on the foundations because the designers have uh, emailed over and they want to get some um, dimensions of the strip foundation so the structural engineer can calculate whether we need to underpin or not. Um, ideally I don't want to underpin because obviously that means digging some very big holes inside and outside of the house, um, filling them with concrete ready to support the steel. So if we can get away with it and the foundations are strong enough then obviously that is a massive part of the job we haven't got to do. A massive cost and a lot of work that doesn't need to be done, so fingers crossed. I'll um, upload a picture now just so you can see the information that they've requested. Basically it is the uh, width of the wall, the depth of the brickwork above the slab foundation, the um, depth of the slab itself, the ground that's underneath the slab, so what type of ground it is, and then the width of the, um, like the foot part of the foundation that sticks out. Um, so I've got to go down into the, uh, the test hole that I've dug, dig a little bit further now, get the water out, dig a bit further so I can get a decent clear picture of the strip foundations because I want all the photos of it all as proof and then hopefully I can send the dimensions over and then the uh, structural engineer can work it all out, so fingers crossed. So I'm going to put on a little time lapse of me digging the, uh, the test hole, uh, you'll be able to see the, the test hole itself and I'll show you what the things that we're looking for. Okay, so I think I've dug far enough. So as you can see there, that is the start of the slab part of the foundation. So you've got your bricks that come up here, then your damp proof course, and obviously then you, with the white is the actual house brick wall. So that's just suspended floor bit there, and then there's your brickwork. So that's part of the foundation. And then if you come down here, you can see that is the strip foundation there and then I've dug right the way down the bottom so now I need to just determine how deep that slab part is so I need to measure the depth for that <clears throat> measure the width for that bit there that will obviously go either side of the wall so there'll be the same width internally of the house as well and I need to measure the width of the house itself you can see there's a little bit of water in there obviously it's where the uh, 
water soaking in there from from the ground. We had quite a lot of rain recently, so that's where it's moist there. But it's helped me dig it a little bit easier. So that's what we're looking at there. So I'm just going to take some measurements now. Okay, so. As you can see here, I've got a straight edge. I'm gonna pull it to the top of the concrete slab part of the foundation and um, the brickwork, including the suspended floor, is measuring just around one meter. So that means that the suspended floor is 200 millimeters and then the brickwork up to that is 800 millimeters. And it's the 800 millimeters that is key. So we ideally need to get to a metre altogether. So the concrete depth at the bottom needs to be around 200 millimetres. Okay, so now we've got to measure the width of the concrete. Um, you can't really see that very clearly now, so I'll just nip down there and uh, clear that up so you can see it a bit easier. But um, the measurement of the concrete is 200 mil wide. So that is 200 mil wide and then you've got the width of the wall which is 260 mil and then you'll have the equivalent of that the other side so all in all the um, width of the uh, slab foundation is around 660 millimeters wide so we're ready to take the final measurement so what I've had to do is I've had to scrape out all the clay underneath and then push the trowel in right up against the underside of the concrete so I've got a decent datum to measure from so as you can see there the depth of the concrete is 200 millimeters so the 200 millimeters plus the 800 mil of brickwork up to the suspended floor gives us our one meter depth of foundation which is required so fingers crossed the structural engineer and the building control inspector will be happy with that and then we won't have to underpin because obviously to underpin you've got to underpin under both sides of the two steels so that would be four holes that we'd have to excavate either side of the wall um, which would be absolute chaos and cost a lot of money so fingers crossed it looks like these foundations are the depth that we need. Okay guys, so um, just a quick update. I've now heard back from the structural engineer and the good news is the foundations are deep enough so that we haven't got our underpin. So that is a massive relief off my shoulders because it would have affected obviously the budget, having to move out the house earlier, it would have wrecked the bathroom which is the one room we want to temporarily keep. So it's really good news. So just to clarify, that was with the concrete strip part of the foundation being 200 mil deep, 200 mil wide from the wall, the wall being 260 mil wide, and then the brickwork up to the suspended floor level was 800 millimeters, and then you had the suspended floor level which was another 200 millimeters, so a meter altogether. The bit they're interested in as per the diagram was the brick up to the suspended floor so 800 millimeters plus the 200 millimeter concrete was key so yeah good news happy news all round so thanks for watching and uh, look forward to hearing from you soon